This is my disc destroyer. It's a mean little machine with one job, testing grinding discs. With so many grinding discs and countless reviews, it's hard to separate fact from fiction. This is where the disc destroyer comes in. It cuts through the noise, delivering real results. No bias, no sponsorships, just cold hard tests. Grinding discs can face a lot of real world challenges, like high and low pressures, hot and cold materials, and of course, fast and slow speeds. This machine tests it all, so that we can finally find the truth in the reviews. Today I am testing the Faird Victagrain fiber disc coming in at $4.96. This is at the higher end of pricing for fiber discs, yet I can't seem to find any reviews about it. So what kind of performance can I get out of this pricey fiber disc? Let's test it to find out. Let me break this down for you. Each disc will be grinding this test bar to see how much it can remove within 20 minutes time. This will chart out its story and tell us exactly how this disc behaves based on how much material it removes at any given point. But if the disc stops effectively grinding the bar or just straight up disintegrates, the test is over. Let's begin. I started my tests with a four pound weight attached to my rig. This is roughly the weight of the grinder. When the test started, the disc removed material at a very slow rate. A little over three minutes in, and I couldn't see any more metal being cut from the coupon, so I ended the test. When it was all said and done, I saw a little under three inches of material removed from the coupon. Not a great start, but I think I can get much more out of this disc. So I decided to test a real world scenario, grinding on a hot weld. To do this, I preheated the first couple inches of a test bar. This will simulate the disc's contact with a hot weld. Once the test got started, I was hopeful this was going to give me the results I wanted. But this time, the performance actually fell off much earlier and cut an inch less of material. So what's going on here? It's clear the Victor Grain stopped removing material because it was glazing. So I'm going to have to change a test variable to overcome this and hopefully get some results I would rate 5 stars. So I added more pressure to my rig, doubling the weight from 4 pounds to 8. And when I ran the test again with the room temperature coupon, the disc immediately took off. It looked like it was going to go all the way until disaster struck. A little over a minute into the test, I began to see smoke come from the disc. To avoid a fire, I ended the test. And good thing I did. Looking at the disc after the test, I can see the coupon had melted through the top layers of the abrasive. All that was left was to test a simulated hot weld at this pressure and see if that would give this disc a hot start and prevent total glazing. So I added the heat and the disc once again started off very strong. To my delight, it very quickly passed where the previous disc smoked out, so I let it keep going and going and going. The disc was able to make it all the way to 14 minutes before I saw some signs of glazing. Soon after I stopped the test because the glazing had gotten too severe. In the end, I measured a solid 15 inches of material cut. The hot metal definitely helped this disc out. So what can we take away from this? To get the most value out of this disc, grind on hot metal with heavy even pressure. Otherwise your disc will glaze or be destroyed. Now it's up to you to decide if these results are worth $4.96. If you'd like to see the data I've collected for this disc, as well as the other discs in these tests, I've posted them at the Fireball Forum, linked in the description. I'm gonna keep posting more and more of these test videos, so stay tuned to find the truth in the reviews. And if you're wondering why I built the rig the way I did, how it works, and what it's all about, I have a video that goes into great detail that you should check out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.